Hey everybody, so uh, welcome back to Sueño de Vida here in Ecuador. So today um, we're taking a little break from the outdoors because when I put these videos on YouTube, uh, uh, inevitably people will see our structures in the background and then they will ask us more about our structures uh, because we use a lot of bamboo and a lot of people are really curious about how to use bamboo. Um, so we use bamboo primarily as a building material. Um, I'm not going to talk about bamboo growing, cultivating bamboo. I'm going to talk about bamboo specifically as a building material because that's what I can really show you guys uh, today about our structures. And that's what I've been getting a lot of questions about. So we use bamboo primi primarily as a building material. And we use a certain type of bamboo that's called bamboo gigante. It only grows in Colombia, Ecuador, and in certain parts of Brazil. And it's known, as you can see, for having a, a really wide diameter. And it's very, very strong. Bamboo gigante is the only kind of bamboo that can actually be weight bearing. So you can see that our roof is actually supported entirely but by bamboo. And I'll take you inside and I'll show you a little bit more about how the, the roof works. So come on inside our kitchen. And uh, this is our, our homemade kitchen. Juan and I built this ourselves with our, our hands. And uh, so we have a center pole. Right, and then Juan, who is my partner, who is an amazing builder with bamboo, um, he figured out how to make this entire weight-bearing, load-bearing structure here. So it's a circular structure, really an octagon, with eight supports, and then the bamboo, uh, we have bamboo vigas, and then we also have the bamboo to uh, bear the load of the roof. This is very sturdy. One of the really great things about building with bamboo and why it's unique, I'll give you a certain couple reasons why it's really unique and really great, especially if you're in an earthquake zone. Because bamboo can flex, bamboo can move. Even though it's incredibly hard, it's got a little bit of flex to it. We actually had, I think it was like a 5.2 earthquake, and uh, we weren't in here at the time, it was just about when we were finishing up the structure, and we were outside and we saw our whole structure kind of like sway, and dance around and then it just settled down it was really amazing to see how it could flex and sway and then just center in on itself also because the structure is round i think that really helps because of course corners are the weakest part of any structure because of shearing force so um a little bit about bamboo in the wild i'll just tell you a little bit about bamboo in the wild is that it has these things called combs right each one of these each one of these sections holds water and if you're ever out in a forest and in a cloud forest or a rainforest, and for some reason there's nothing to drink, which would be ridiculous because it's always raining. But just in case it's the dry season, you can always cut into a comb of bamboo right here and you can sip the water inside. So bamboo is like a big straw and it sucks up water from the ground and then it actually stores it inside each one of these sections. And the water is very delicious. We've actually drank it sawed a little piece open, stuck a straw inside and, and sucked it out. And um, it's got like a really delicious kind of like green grassy flavor to it. It's really nice, but not like wheatgrass. Wheatgrass is disgusting. Um, so another way you can use bamboo obviously is in furniture and in making uh, tables and chairs and benches and all things like that. This is my kitchen island that Juan also made. We also use bamboo here to support um, our tables and things like that. And then all the wood we use here is pretty much recycled from old desks and things like that. Um, the other really fantastic thing about using bamboo is that unlike wood in the subtropics, which and the tropics, which tends to be very, very prone to getting termites, guys, extremely prone to getting termites, is bamboo is very, very hard. And if it's been properly cured in boric acid, it will not get termites, okay? So if you're building with bamboo and you're planning to build with bamboo, know that your bamboo, it really needs to be cured. Um, boric acid is not dangerous, it's not toxic. I mean, you don't wanna take a bath in it, but it's not toxic to the earth. And um, some people have also cured bamboo in lime water. I'm not gonna vouch for that because I don't know how well it works. Our bamboo was cured in boric acid. If you wanna do it yourself, you can dig yourself a big trench, fill it with borax and water, and soak your bamboo in it for two weeks, and that's curing it. Um, but I would definitely recommend, if you want to build a structure that's going to last, to cure your bamboo. Very, very, very important. You'll see structures all around the rainforest that are just kind of like ramshackle, little bus stubs thrown up with uh, 
what they call Kanya, um, is that Kanya Wadua or Kanya Brava? The Kanya Wadua that's more wild, that grows everywhere. Those aren't built to last, guys. The people that build those, they know they're going to fall apart in two years, and then they're just going to go out and cut down more Kanya Wadua and build another one. So it's great. And that's one of the other fabulous things, I'll just wrap it up, about bamboo is that it grows really, 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 really fast. So these combs, these big, wide, thick combs, only take about three to four years to get ma to maturity, to get to this width, and the thinner ones, um, even less. So unlike a tree, which takes you know, 30, 35 years to grow and then you fell it, bamboo grows ultra fast. You can make amazing things from the fibers. You can make paper, you can make forks and spoons, you can make toothbrushes, all those kinds of things. But we here primarily use it for our building structures, you can make really beautiful details with it. Oh, I'm sorry, one last thing. When you want to learn how to build with bamboo, I don't know how to do, do it. My, my partner does the building. Um, but one of the most important things to learn how to do is how to make the cuts. Because with bamboo, you don't use a lot of nails and screws and bolts to hold it together. You make these cuts called fish mouth cuts. And that's what, just what it looks like in all different, you can see all the bamboo is cut in different angles to create a mouth so that then the pieces sit on top of each other. Uh, in the Philippines, they do it just completely with fish mouth, fish, fish mouth cuts and rope. They don't use any bolts or screws or nails or anything. So that's the other really important thing to know about bamboo is if you wanna learn how to build with it, you need to learn how to cut it so that it all fits together like a big puzzle, okay? So there's my uh, piece there on bamboo. We'll get back to agroforestry next time I see you. Thanks, guys.